the title of the play from Civic Theater says it all. Kevin Roach is the artistic director, and I'm going to let him rattle it off for you. What's the name of the show, Kevin? It's a good old-fashioned redneck country Christmas. <laughs> good old-fashioned redneck country Christmas. I can't fit it on the signboard. It's so long. <laughs> I, I, lo I love this. This was great. Oh, now, it's such a neat little poster. You've got yeah. your little graphic right there. Well, tell us uh, the story behind the story here. Hey, you know, and redneck is kind of a misnomer. It's really just people in the South, and it's, it's uh, these three women that work in Lou's diner, hence the ketchup bottle there. Um, Lou owns it, and she and her friends are mad at their husbands and boyfriends because um, they've decided to go hunting on Christmas Eve. And all for various reasons, you know, to get away from the wife nagging about adoption, to get away from the girlfriend nagging about getting married, to get away from the in-laws. And um, the problem happens whenever a snowstorm comes in, and they're planning to come back to reconcile with their wives, or at least keep the peace, but they can't. And so they start searching for each other, but a stranger comes into town that might end up making all of this come around and then work together. So, sounds like fun. Now, is this a, is this a knee slapper? Oh God, it's so so funny. I mean, <laughs> you know, and I've had people ask me like, you know, does it make fun of rednecks? I'm like, not really. I mean, that you've got your, you know, your ditzy girl and your kind of idiot guy, but their friends keep them in line and and you know try to smack them upside the head if they need to. But this show is so so funny and it's so much fun to watch. And, and that's just perfect for this time of year too. We've all been meeting ourselves coming and going. You know, our oh gosh, yes. that we're already into December. This is a great way to just kind of kick back yeah, and relax. Yeah, just come back and relax and enjoy a show. You know, it's not really a, you know, you're not going to learn a grand life lesson. You might. <laughs> you might. You might, you you might learn how to, you know, make everybody happy in your family. I don't know. They all come together and work it out. So it has a happy ending. It's fun. It's nice. And it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> and not in the sense that you were using in the beginning of the show. Which, which, means, <laughs> which means foolish or finicky or trivial. That's what yes. it means. That's what it meant. Thank you for looking that up. Yeah, I did. did you already know that? I did not know that. Okay. <laughs> you learned something on Lifestyles, right? Okay, when's the show go up? Uh, it opens this Friday, plays this weekend and next. Um, they can get tickets by calling the box office. I'm not there now because I'm here. Um, but they can leave, them out and leave us a message. Or easiest way, you can get them online at EvansvilleCivicTheater.org. And currently right now, we don't have an online feed until I get that to put back on. We've had it all So week. hurry. Yeah, I'll go do it now. Yeah, so, yeah. What time is the show? 7.30 on Friday and Saturdays, and we have, it's just a matinee on Sunday, 2 p.m. So. And is the cast how many people in the cast? Uh, six, seven, eight, about eight or nine people. Okay. So it's not not a huge cast, but it's a good, fun show. It sounds like a lot yeah, of fun. It's, a, and it's a, exactly what we all need this time of year. Now, I ask you, and I'll put you on the spot, okay. have you decided 2020 yet? Mm, some. We've uh, our committee has got together and kind of decided on a few options we like, and uh, we just need to wrap it up by the beginning of the year. We usually know by February. That's when we figure it all out, and then we get we announce it in the springtime. And we never really say when we're going to. We just kind of pop announce it, surprise announce it, and so. So maybe you'll come back and roll out the new season here yeah, on Local just Lifestyles. No warning, bam! No, we're here and we're telling we season. Yeah. Now we're going to know. But you're excited about what you've decided. Yeah, so the far. ones we've looked at, I'm really really excited about. So. Lots to yes. Don't look at him. He is not going to reveal. I I'm can't trying talk. To it out I of can't him. talk. All morning. Committee not would kill me. <laughs> well, when people do discover what you're going to be uh, staging next year. How do they find out audition information? Right now, we do everything um, on like our Facebook and our Instagram, our social media, essentially. Mm -hmm. We've really started to kind of step up our social media game um, because right. more and more people would tell us they go to our Facebook page as opposed to our website. So we put everything on the website as far as shows and times, but for like auditions, volunteer help, anything like that, we post that up on our Facebook and it gets a lot of attention. And our, our, um, our webmaster and board member, Megan Levitt, has been really great about kind of making sure that gets out there and seen. Well, it's being seen. Yeah. I can tell you that. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Look forward to it. It is a good old-fashioned redneck country Christmas Civic Theater. We'll be back with more local lifestyles right after this. Stay with me.